G'day folks, it's Rico here, and today we're going to talk about beach recoveries. Everything you need to know about getting yourself unstuck when you're in the sand. Like most recovery situations, some specialised equipment for the environment that you're in is a bit of a necessity. And today, it's only a few simple things. The first one is a snatch strap, which you should never head off-road without anyway. The other specialised piece of equipment that we brought with us today is the Max Trax, and we're going to show you how to use that in a moment. Well, as you can see, I've got myself in a bit of a pickle here in the 60 series, and because I'm going to tackle this recovery solo, I'm going to use the Max Trax. Now, the Max Trax are a traction aid that are designed for you to drive up and over and get yourself out of trouble. The first thing we need to do is get rid of some of the sand that's blocking the way. You can either use a long handled shovel here, or if you don't have one, you simply turn the Max Trax around and shovel it out just like I'm doing now. Once you've cleared the sand away, with the pointy end up, jam the Max Trax in under the tyres, and you need to have them on a bit of an angle. This will help the tyre grip the Max Trax, get traction, and send you on your way. And there you have it, it's as easy as that. We simply crawled out of that bog with the help of the Max Trax. Now all that's left to do is put them back in the car and head off to my favourite fishing spot. Now let's demonstrate a typical snatch strap recovery. All right, well I've gone and got the 60 stuck again. And while I could probably tackle this recovery with the help of the Max Trax, I've got a snatch strap handy. And here comes a mate down the beach now. Let's flag him down and get him to give us a hand with a snatch recovery. As with any snatch strap recovery, the key is safety first and it's also very important to keep the lines of communication clear and open. We're going to start by attaching the snatch strap to the 60 and that's done by the use of a rated bow shackle. It's important that you use a rated bow shackle and not some cheaper you found lying around in the shed. On the recovery vehicle we're feeding the eyelet of the snatch strap into the tow hitch and putting the pin in there to secure it. This is a great way to do it. The golden rule is never ever put the loop of the snatch strap over your tow ball. That's the number one no-no, someone will get hurt for sure. Once that's safely done, then you put your recovery dampener in the middle of the strap. Make sure there's plenty of slack in the middle of the strap. I like to leave a little S in the strap itself so I know there's plenty of slack there. Now once we're ready, we're going to use UHFs to communicate to one another. I like to choose second gear low range in this situation and have my wheels spinning when the recovery vehicle takes off. The key for the recovery vehicle is to use enough momentum that he continues to go once the slack has been taken up, but he doesn't want to go crazy because that's when accidents can happen. And there you have it, that's another safe snatch strap recovery. Now that all that's left to do is inspect the gear, pack it up and head for the hills. If you'd like more information on four-wheel drive recoveries, log on to offroadadventureshow.com.au.